call one, practice paper number three, question number ten. Now on this paper, question ten is in fact the last question. So sometimes on the exam paper you might find either nine, ten or eleven questions. It just depends. Again, not the whole question there, but this is the whole of part A. The gradient of a curve of the type y equals a function of x is given by f dash of x equals this. So this is the gradient on a particular curve. The point P lies on that curve. Find the equation of the normal at the point P. Right, so we know the gradient on the graph, again writing down a few thoughts to help me understand the question, especially in the exam. You need to get your head around the question in the exam. So it's worth writing down some thoughts. The gradient on the graph at the point P is given by substituting the x coordinate of the point into there. In other words, working out f dash substituting minus 1. So, helping me think about the question, explain to the examiner what I'm thinking, keeping a cool head in the exam, I hope. Let's put minus 1 in there. And I'll get two lots of minus 1, which is minus 2, minus 1, all squared. So that's going to be minus 3, minus 3 all squared is plus 9. So that is the gradient. So gradient tangent at P is 9. That's what in fact that's doing. Again, this really is just helping me get my head around the question. Helping the exam examiner follow my train of thoughts. Now I want the normal. So the gradient of the normal at P. Now because the tangent and normal at right angles, then the gradient of the tangent multiplied by the gradient of the normal must always come to minus 1. Therefore this will be uh, equals minus 1 ninth. But the equation of the normal, which is in fact what the question asks me to find at P, using M equals There's the gradient. Got to pass through this point. So it's y minus 3 over x minus that minus 1. Now that minus sign, although it says minus a ninth, you could put the minus there or there or there. It's the same thing. So let's put it with the 1. Multiplying these two together minus 1 times x, minus 1 times plus 1, 9 times y, and 9 times 3. doesn't ask me how to write it down, so I can write it down any way I feel like it. Um, let's put naught here, add 1x to both sides, so I'll get 1x there. And let's add that 1 to both sides. And I think that'll fit the bill. Let's mark it. So a mark for getting the gradient of the tangent. A mark for getting the gradient of the normal. A mark for working out on the equation of the normal. And a mark for writing down a nice tidy version of the equation of the normal. Part A. Let's move on to Part B. 
find the actual equation. So we were given f dash equals so we were given that at the beginning of the question. So that is the function differentiated. So if I integrate that, I'll get back to the equation of the curve that I want. So I need to integrate that. But before I can integrate, I'll need to expand this bracket. Let's do it the quick way. Square the first term is 2x all squared. Multiply this first term by 2, double it, get 4x multiplied by the second term, and then square the last term. Now if you're happy with that, fine. If you want to write that out twice and do that times that, that times that, that times that, that times that, and tidy it up, perfectly fine as well. So therefore the function fx will equal this integrated with respect to x. So let's do the integration. That's a power. I raise the power by 1 and divide by that new power. Little power 1 there. Raise that by 1 power, divide by the new power. And if you integrate a number, then the x reappears. Plus the constant of integration. Now we can work out the constant of integration if we know a point that the graph passes through and it tells me that it goes through point P with an x-coordinate of minus 1 and a y-coordinate of 3. So let's substitute those values into here. So in other words I get when I substitute into the function minus 1 I get the answer of 3 and let's substitute the minus 1 for x in here. Minus 1 cubed is minus 1, multiplied by the 4 thirds. Minus 1 squared is plus 1, but multiplied by... Let's cancel that, shall we? That cancels down to 2. Um, minus 1 squared is plus 1, multiplied by the minus 2 is minus 2. Put a minus 1 in there. So what have I got here? I've got minus 1 minus... That's minus 3. That's one and a third, so altogether I've got minus, minus four and a third. Add minus four and a third to both sides, I get seven and a third for the constant. Therefore, the graph, the equation of the graph is... You, some people might write that, that's why I hesitated. Some people might write that as a top-heavy improper fraction. doesn't really matter. OK, let's see what marks we've got floating for that. A mark for expanding the brackets and appreciating we need to integrate, integrating correctly, finding the constant of integration, and hence the completed equation of the original curve. That's part 10b. Now that was the end of the exam paper, which was the third paper in this set of three. And there's three DVDs to go with the three papers. And if you want to see all of the exam paper and all of the solutions, then you'll need to visit www.mathstutor.biz and buy the complete set. Set 1, Core 1, Papers 1, 2 and 3. Hope to hear from you.